What's going on guys, Sachi is here and welcome to this pack pulled Sergio Aguero BPL squad builder on my channel today. If you did miss um, the video that where I did pack him, then there is a link in the description below. Also another link to my squad builder playlist for FIFA 15. So if you want to check out any of my other squad builders that I have done, they've mainly been towards the cheap OP style. Um, but I've mainly focused on like one league. I'm going to try and do some more hybrids in the coming weeks. Also, I am using a new mic now. So do put in the comments below if the audio quality is better because I am going to be using this for my career mode series. And yeah, let's just get straight into this team. So in goal, we have Begovic. Now, I haven't really used any other BPL keepers, but this guy is certainly worth trying out. Very, very solid keeper. Is fantastic at shot stopping. Uh, moving over to the two centre backs. Firstly we've got Inform Reed, the pack pulled Inform Reed as well I have to say. Another good player that I did pack. Um, overall he is just so good in defence. One of the best centre backs I've used so far today. Maybe even the best. Um, very very solid player. Um, great defensively. He's got medium high as well which is what I really like to see in a centre back moving over to the other side and we've got Kabul now this guy's normally OP as hell um, however this year I don't think he is that OP anymore he's decent but I just found Reed to be way way better than him moving over to the other side surprisingly we've got Monreal now I only went with this guy because he is a first owner I wanted to make most of this team around first owner players and actually nine of the 11 players in this team are actually first owner pack pool players he is a decent player defensively however he doesn't really get forward much so he doesn't really support the attack on like counter attacks or anything however if you are looking for a defensive left back because um, obviously you see normally a lot of fullbacks to have like high medium but medium high is a decent decent left back to have he's pretty cheap as well because there's plenty other left backs you could choose but I would say he's worth trying out. Anyways, over to the other side, we've got Seamus Coleman. This is the guy to go with for a BPL right back. Absolutely love him. Brilliant all-round stats. Um, he's got 81 pace as well, so he has got some pace there. And he's very, very good defensively, so go try him out. Now, moving on to the two CDMs. Now, these two are seriously what got to be up there with the best players in this team. Firstly, we have Victor Wanyama. He's got 68 pace, but he's got 88 physical and that is huge in this game. Huge, I say. And over the other side, and we've got Leroy Fur, who's who himself has got 86 physical. Does have more pace. Both are unbelievable defensively and going forward. You know, they're scoring goals, getting assists, as well as defending very well. Identical goals and assists as well. However, they are prone to the odd red card because I am a bit sloppy with my tackles sometimes. Anyways, moving over to the cam. And that is actually going to be Aaron Ramsey. I wouldn't advise you use him as a cam. Um, however, in this formation, he does all right. But I don't like how he has high, high work rates for, for someone that's playing as a cam. Obviously, he is, a, he is a, actually a centre mid. Um, he got six goals, eight assists. Isn't the greatest player um, in that cam position. I would advise using him as a CM. Maybe use someone else as a cam in this team. Okay, so moving over to the other side. And we do have uh, another pack pool player who is really, really good and does go for a little bit. And that is Raheem Sterling. 93 pace, 84 dribbling. So moving over to the wingers now. And firstly, we have another pack pool player right here who does actually go for about 20,000 coins. And that is Raheem Sterling. Nine goals, six assists. Is not bad. He's got four star skill moves. 93 damn pace. And also 84 dribbling, which feels more like 90 dribbling. And his shooting feels much more than that 69. Um, he really, really does suit this game so well. And he's a bitch to come up against. So to play with him, he, you know, really, really good. And I love that I've got a first owner of him because I will be keeping him in this BPL team. Moving over to the other side, and we've got Podolski. Now, this may seem a bit of a surprise. However, I want to put him in because he is pack pulled. Um, only 74 pace which isn't great but I don't really use him for his, any pace really he's good at just um, holding up the play on the wing um, 87 shooting guys 87 shooting unreal um, and it does really show he did get 10 goals 5 assists surprisingly really really good but um, because I'm pace I probably will switch him up and probably buy Sherlock or someone like that anyways moving up top and we obviously have the pack Called Sergio 
Aguero, 33 goals in 34 matches. This guy really is the real deal. Um, 88 dribbling, 88 pace, 86 shooting, all the stats you want for a striker in this game. He is the perfect striker to have. Um, just unreal. He's literally unreal. And I love how he's got high-low work rates in this formation because it does rely a lot on the counter-attack. So if he does stay forward all the time, then that is a good thing uh, for counter-attacks. So that is it for this squad build. A very, very impressive team. So let's get on with some gameplay and review Sergio Aguero. Okay, so from using this formation and using this team for 20, 30 games, I did realize um, that with this team, you do have to be patient. You have to defend quite a bit. You're not going to have the majority of the possession. This is a counter-attacking formation. And when you have a counter-attacking formation, you need pacey players um, up front with your striker and your wingers. Now, I know Podolski isn't fast, but he's there for his uh, shooting. It's just unreal. Look at this from just outside the box. Fantastic. The shot power, the finish, it's just perfect from Podolski. And that's what I really, really liked about this team. The whole team pitched in with goals. It wasn't like, oh yeah, it's just an Aguero team. You just have to rely on him scoring all the time. It was, um, you know, a lot of the time it was just other players getting forward instead of Aguero. Look at this from Wanyama. He just picks up the ball um, and just keeps running and running and shows some good dribbling and does finish that off in a sec. Like, even, yeah, Wanyama, Fur, Ramsey, they're all getting a few goals here and there. It really does help the team when you don't have to rely on just one player to score goals. Look at this kickoff glitch goal from uh, Sterling. I absolutely hate it, but, you know, I'm going to do it if I can because it's not like the other kickoff glitch, which was um, even more annoying, in, in my opinion. At least that takes a little bit of skill. You know, the other one really, really didn't. Um, but yeah, in terms of Aguero, go try him out, guys, if you have the coins. I'm sure most of you don't. Um, if you could pack him, that would be absolutely amazing like I did. But um, I will be selling him on. I will probably buy Sturridge for this team. I think he would suit this team just as good as Aguero does because he's got the pace, he's got the shooting, and he's got the dribbling as well. Look at this, just easily running past people for days. Um, seriously, the, the whole team worked really, really well. I was really impressed with the whole team. I am going to be, you know, still using this team for sure. But Aguero just runs past people with absolute ease. Yeah, I can't, I can't say it enough, to be honest. And that's why he is the best striker that I've used so far this year. So, thank you for watching, guys. Look at that shit from Sterling. Absolutely beautiful. Please do leave a like and subscribe. Put in the comments, like I said, if the mic quality is better or worse. I think it should be better. Um, look at that. It's just ridiculous how good that dribbling is. Like, you just can't see that anywhere else. Anyways, thank you for watching again, and I will leave you with this Wanyama Thunderbolt. What a goal. So I will see you in my next video.